What up DFE crew and welcome back to another Driver Family Vlog. This is Vlogmas Day 5. So as you read in the title, you're going to see what we got for the kids this Christmas. Now, usually we go all out for the kids and we get them all these big toys, you know, go big or go home. Well, we ended up realizing that we usually tend to give those gifts away. So this year I kind of took a different approach and I only got them small things that I knew that they would appreciate. So without further ado, let's jump into so it. So when Scarlett started preschool, we went and got her this cute little jacket. It was a little bat jacket and it had cute little bat wings and she loved it, loved it. Well, maybe a week into school, she lost her jacket and she was devastated. She, to this day, she is still sad and hurt about her jacket. So I ended up going online and finding the same exact jacket on Target and I repurchased it for her. So it has the little bat wings there and then it has the little bat, you know, eyes and the little fangs. So I know she's going to be in love with this jacket because she was very very sad when she lost it so that was one gift that I was really happy that I found for her and also Scarlett is getting into really girly things jewelry headbands all of that girly stuff which I love so I went ahead and I got her some headbands so there's different headbands in here. So this one has like little turquoise gems and diamonds. This one's like gold and white. Very simple. This is like a little peach one. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully the glare's not too bad. And then it also came with a pink one. And again, I hope you guys can see it. And it also came with this tiny little one. Looks like it's just little pearls and diamonds. So a total of five headbands for her. And I think she's gonna really love that. I love that she's starting to really appreciate headbands and wanting to do her hair. And she's always loved doing her nails, so can't say anything there. But she is turning into a princess, which she is, so only natural. So I really hope that she enjoys the headbands. I'm pretty sure she will. I also went ahead and I purchased her two Princess Barbie dolls. So we got her Belle and she is in love with Rapunzel right now. All she says is, I want to grow my hair like Rapunzel, Rapunzel, I love Rapunzel. So I also got her a Rapunzel doll. So I'm pretty sure she's going to enjoy that. Um, one thing about Scarlett is She's terrified of the dark. Um, we have night lights and everything like that for her room, but she's still really scared of the dark. And what I got to help her with that was this little Star Master um, Dream Rotating Projector Lamp. So I think this is really cool. I don't know what color I got. I think I got, I don't know what color I got actually. Um, but it says there's different little scenes so there's like it looks like there's Hello Kitty there's stars and moons and then just stars. So these are the little different um, projections that this star master does I really hope that helps her with being you know not so afraid of the dark but we'll see and one more thing since she is a princess and she's all into that girly stuff as you saw in a I think it was a like flea market haul that we did a few videos ago we ended up getting this really big case of princess dresses and it was really good deal like it was twenty dollars for tons of princess dresses and she loves her princess dresses um, they still fit her so thank goodness but to go with the princess dresses I went ahead and got her like a shoe and tiara and bracelet earrings set. So it comes with a blue set, a purple set, a light pink, and a hot pink set. So I think she's really going to enjoy that. One thing that is in this kit that I know she's gonna love are clip-on earrings. For the past 
I want to say two months, she has really been wanting to pierce her ears. And Nick isn't really for that. He did say when she was a baby, like, when she's old enough to decide, I will let her pierce her ears. But now that the time has come, he's not really, like, wanting to do that. So I think she's going to be thrilled about the little clip-on earrings so that she can pretend to have earrings and have them dangling and just be a full-on So that was Scarlett's gifts that we got for her this year. Like I said, we're really going pretty simple with their gifts. Stuff that I know they're going to enjoy and be happy with. We didn't get large gifts. We really just got little things and it's really the thought that counts when you're doing Christmas shopping so you don't always have to go you know big or go home you don't have to buy the expensive toys just get something that your kids will really really enjoy and appreciate. So moving on to Aiden um, Aiden's birthday is coming up this Saturday so he's actually gonna get extra spoiled but for Christmas again we went um, the minimalist route um, he really needed some stuff, so I got some needs versus some like excessive toys. He is growing so fast. We literally just bought him shoes and pants and shirts at the beginning of the school year. We're only, what, four months in and he's already outgrowing all of that stuff. So he really needed some shoes and he's really rough on his shoes. His shoes only lasted him like four months. So I went ahead and purchased him two pairs of shoes for Christmas and also one pair for his birthday. So he is in love with Converse, so I got the generic version of Converse, but he doesn't know. So these are Airwalks from Payless, and he's really going to enjoy those. Like I said, he loves Converse like his mama. And also, I didn't want him to just have, you know, flats. I wanted him to have something that he can run in and be active in and hopefully last since he is so rough on his shoes. I went ahead and got him some tennis shoes, hiking shoes. Um, we do go hiking quite a bit, so I think these would be perfect for when we do go hiking and climb the mountains and everything. This will have good grip for everything. I also got him some cute figurines. He is in love with Star Wars right now. So I got him these cute little figurines. I got a Chewbacca and a Han Solo. Um, they're pop art, I believe. Right there, the pop art things. I don't know. I hope that glare is not bad. But we got two of these for him so he can start a little collection. He is already observing how Nick kind of has knickknacks all out throughout his bookshelves and everything and he's really wanting to have that of his own so I think this is gonna start his little collection so I did get him two more items unfortunately one of them has not shipped so I'll just show you the one that I have here and basically the other one is similar but just not as rugged so I got him a rock climbing remote control car so this one is for outside he can go in the dirt be rough with it, play. Another one I got was um, an inside car one that transforms into a dinosaur, I believe. If I find a picture, I will put it here. If not, I apologize. Um, and so that one is more for inside the house versus this one, which would be outside. So he can have fun outside in it. Alrighty, DFE, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really want to know what you get for your family members for Christmas. Do you go big or go home? Do you get small things that they are going to really enjoy? Do you make things? Homemade stuff is really fun to do too. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. Bye!